Reporting on childhood poverty across the tri-state, we have learned a lot about misconceptions. Misunderstanding about how you fall into poverty, generational poverty, and even homelessness. More than a quarter of those in homeless shelters in Cincinnati are children, but you rarely see them sitting on the streets. This story highlights two homeless men who are on the streets and what it's actually like to be homeless. I had a pretty good life. Jeremy Gordon grew up right across the river from the bridge he sat under. He said he was in the Army Reserve from 2000 to 2003, where he was trained as an architect. Later stationed in Fort Thomas, where there were no technical engineer positions opened. Frustrated, he quit and was discharged, quote, other than honorable. He looks at that now as a bad choice made by a young kid that led to more bad choices. Ended up catching a felony over some uh, checks. I was right when I had kids and got kind of behind on my bills. He doesn't receive veteran benefits because he was never full time or fought in a war. It's hard to get a job when you're homeless. I can't, it's not like I can set an alarm clock and hear it go off out here. And if I did have, use a phone or something, somebody's going to steal it. Jeremy lives under a bridge you likely drive past or over. You know, I just took a few wrong turns going down the road trust, and trusted the wrong people. Melvin White is one of his neighbors. We met the senior citizen two days after his 67th birthday by his tarp following a recent cold night. It's bad, but... Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying, to make the best things turn out right. I take it and ride with it, and I pray. Melvin lost his home in Cincinnati when the person collecting his rent stopped turning it in to the landlords. He'd been sleeping on the ground, he said, for a month. What do my prayers sound like? I ask them to um, keep us protected from the elements. That way we don't get sick or freeze to death. I'm willing to work. Um, I'm educated. There's no reason why I couldn't be back in the normal person in society like everyone else, but I can't hold down a job because I won't be able to get there on time every day and be clean when I get there. If you're trying to get a roof over your head, you got to think positive and you got to stay positive. I keep hearing affordable housing, but I don't know what it is still. I haven't actually seen it. So the misconceptions. I really wish I could get back to work. That's all I want to do, for real. I'd much rather be working right now than sitting under this disgusting bridge. Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. When we asked Melvin what he hoped for, he said he'd be all right and he would continue to pray. Jeremy said that he hopes to become a normal citizen of society again. To learn more about the challenges people who are homeless face, head to CincinnatiPoverty.com. We thank both those men for their bravery yeah. in sharing those deeply, deeply personal stories with us here on Local 12.